Cornish hen. Today, we're cooking Cornish hen. It's not a turkey, nor is it a chicken, and it's not a duck. Today, we're gonna be cooking Cornish hen, and we're doing it Greek style. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kosas Lozanis. I am the owner and head chef of Opa Greek Tavern. What I love about the Cornish game hen is the meat to bone ratio. They're just gonna be easier to cook and they're gonna not have just these huge pieces of meat that take forever and get dry in the middle. So definitely give these guys a shot. They are fun. You can find them on the frozen aisle in your local grocery store. Defrost them, play with them, have fun. There's tons of recipes out here. This recipe I'm gonna show you today is gonna be a little bit of a Greek twist. We're gonna stuff it with feta and spinach and bake it in our little Greek oven back here. Okay, first thing first, we are going to work on our stuffing. Let's go ahead and throw some olive oil in a pan and hit it with some bacon. Just get some nice smoky notes going on there. Keep all that fat in there, take out the bacon and we're gonna saute up half a white onion. To that, we're gonna add some good fresh spinach. Add some more because you're gonna need a lot. It's gonna wilt down to nothing. There you go. Just a little more. Perfect, perfect. Now let's go ahead and cook that down into nothingness. And you're gonna see this magically wilt before your eyes. Stir that in. We're also gonna go ahead and toss in our diced tomato and throw in our bacon back into the pot after you give it a little rough chop. Now that the spinach and onions have cooled down, we are going to transfer these over to a mixing bowl. We're gonna add in all of our cheeses. We're gonna do a three cheese blend, mozzarella, feta, and ricotta cheese. These three cheeses combined are gonna make a really wonderful stuffing for our game hens. Mix this all together. Little secret weapon here, a dash of heavy cream. It's gonna add some moisture to our mixture. Intensify that creaminess. To this, we're gonna add some stone ground pepper and just the smallest pinch of salt. Mix that together. For this to hold, we're gonna add one egg. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic as well. Some granulated garlic. And some lemon pepper. A little bit of oregano. And some thyme as well. You can use fresh or dry, it doesn't matter as long as you get it in there. Same thing with the garlic. You can use some fresh garlic if you want to. I just didn't have any on me today, but uh, you know we, we can use that as well. We're gonna set this in the refrigerator and let this cool down even further and combine, and let's get our hens ready. Fill the cavity of your hen. This is a little bit of a messy job. There's really no other way around it. You're just gonna have to get in there and stuff these birds. As a chef, I know more than anyone else how important presentation is. So we're going to truss our birds and that is going to be basically just tying them up so that way they bake in place instead of like baked out like this, you know what I'm saying? Baker's twine, you can find this pretty much at any boutique grocery store. They should have some baker's twine. It's oven safe so you don't worry about it like catching on fire. Don't use anything that's not baker's twine because I don't want you to get mad at me whenever like you know, the plastic rope melts into your food, okay? I warned you. I like to start with the legs and just do a little figure eight. What I love about these is like how elegant they look. They are absolutely magnificent when they're plated and it really does feel like you're royalty when you're enjoying this dish. Just a real quick pro tip while you're doing this, make sure when you cut your baker's twine, you cut plenty. So you have an excess of baker's twine. You never want to run out whenever you're on your final knot. Boom. So again, I cut way too much, so I'm just gonna cut this little excess off. And your hens, my hens, are stuffed. Now, we are gonna get these things all rubbed down and buttered up into our 350 degree oven and they will go and we will have us a delicious stuffed Cornish game hen, Greek style. 
So what I have here is just a nice roasting pan. You can add a roasting rack if you need to, but if you don't have one, I'm gonna teach you a trick on how you can still make them look so beautiful without a roasting rack. And that trick is to actually start them inverted. So you're gonna put them face down into the baking dish about 20 minutes before you're ready to take them out. We're actually gonna flip them over. That way the top will be golden brown and, and delicious. When it comes to serving size, portion sizes, it really is one hen per person. Two people honestly could probably share it, but as far as just plating, everybody having their own hen, it's, it's, that's like the best way to do it in my opinion. A little salt, a little peppercorn, are gonna go on these bad boys. I'm gonna add some more oregano and some thyme, some lemon pepper. We're also gonna add a little bit of chicken base to this to really help intensify the flavors. You can add chicken stock. I mean, that would work too. Just add, add chicken stock to the to the dish. But these are this is really nice chicken base that you can use. I like to add rub these guys down with some extra virgin olive oil. It's a messy job. It, it's a messy job, but there's really no other way. You have to give each hen the love and the respect that they deserve. My Greek restaurant is located in Texas. I have no problem adding butter to everything. I had this butter just setting out and it's just been kind of come to room temperature so it's extra soft. When you let your butter set out like that, it makes it so easy to work with. So take your time with the butter, let it set out for a few hours. And we're just gonna rub this down with some butter, stick it inside the cavity a little bit. You can even, you can even after, pr you can prick the skin and actually add some butter in between the meat and the skin inside of your hen. <laughs> Add all that in there. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You have no idea how great this is gonna be. Let's just fill this pan halfway with some water and into a 350 degree oven. This will go. I'm gonna bake them again face down and then I'm gonna come in about 40 minutes and flip them face up and they should be beautiful. So excited, it's the moment of truth, the moment we've been waiting for. The Cornish hens are ready to come out of our little Greek oven. Let's pull them out and see how beautiful these little hens are. These look and smell amazing. Wow, 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 wow. While that is resting a little bit, let's go ahead and prepare our plate we're gonna do this with a little bit of potatoes, rice, and green beans at our restaurant. All right, the, the last and final step before we serve this to the guests is to remove this baker's twine. And right before it goes out, let's get a little bit of this juice here and just ladle that right on top. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't check out last month's special, it was the uh, the lamb pot pie. I'll put a link right up here. Make sure you go and check that out. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. If you like these cooking videos, let me know in the comment section. I'm only gonna continue to do these if, if you continue to watch and you enjoy them. That's a wrap. We'll see you guys in the next video.